Greetings. We'll be talking today about the liver and specifically nutrition in cirrhosis. How to keep your liver healthy or manage your health if you have cirrhosis through nutritional education. The liver, as you know, is located in the right upper part of the abdomen, close to the spleen and stomach. It's integrated heavily into nutritional management, balance, storage, and keeping your total body healthy. Another picture of a healthy liver in patients with a very good nutritional status. And liver enzymes, liver tests, really don't help you with nutritional assessment. They just indicate liver inflammation. Liver function tests, on the other hand, might indicate if your bilirubin's high and your eyes are yellow, that you have decreased fat vitamins like vitamin A, D, and E. The albumin is low, that it can indicate poor nutrition. INR could be out prolonged increase because of decreased vitamin K. So these liver function tests have some use in assessing nutritional status. The liver is a unique organ, balancing blood, nutrition, bile, healthy liver after a liver transplant. But notice this fat that's here in the abdomen. If a person is obese, that fat can go into the liver, cause the liver to be dysfunctional, eventually can cause cirrhosis and specific types of malnutrition. Fatty liver, which is covered under one of our other audio video presentations, is where a person has too much nutrition, too many calories relative to their calorie expenditures. So stay healthy, keep your weight normal, a body mass index of 24, a good healthy body weight. That'll keep your healthy liver or liver healthy and prevent some of the outcomes that cirrhosis can result in. The liver should be smooth, but firm and rubbery to touch. A normal liver has normal liver cells that do all this work, balancing vitamins and nutrients, lipids, fats, protein, carbohydrate, sugars. Again, a normal liver that we would see on a liver biopsy. Chronic hepatitis, inflammatory cells start disrupting the liver machinery and there can be an early harbinger of liver dysfunction and poor nutritional status. Fatty liver, as we mentioned before, directly is a sign of too much calories, too much nutrition, but eventually can result in scar tissue, cirrhosis, liver failure, and the other extreme, which we'll talk about in just a moment, when patients get extensive cell death, inflammation, scarring, and get cirrhosis. This is when nutritional status really becomes perturbed. These are signs of cirrhosis. I'm not gonna go into great detail. I would refer you to our cirrhosis presentation. Again, cirrhosis has many signs but look at this key issue here about nutrition with muscle wasting. Decreased testosterone can cause a variety of different problems. Blood thinning, low vitamin K, easy bleeding under the skin. Let's dig deep now into this nutrition issue in advanced liver disease. Malnutrition is a central problem in patients with cirrhosis. Vitamin and nutrient deficiency is quite common in patients with chronic liver disease, especially cirrhosis. Vitamin nutrition support and assessment should be a best practice part of your algorithm in chronic liver disease. Why? Because people with cirrhosis just don't eat enough. They have GI symptoms, nausea. Their stomach doesn't empty very well. They may be yellow and have bile acid deficiency. They may be getting diarrhea from lactulose. We know they have impaired glucose metabolism, so it's critical to have five to six snacks a day with complex carbohydrates. This means sugars of derived from potato, pasta, rice, noodles. Patients with cirrhosis, especially those with ascites, are actually hypermetabolic. Again, multiple meals a day, 100 grams of protein no protein restriction. 
Again, we're repeating frequent meals, complex carbohydrates, balanced diet, 30 kilocalories per kilogram of body weight. And you can calculate that by getting a good cookbook and a diet log. Very, very important and essential. No protein restriction. Calcium, 1,200 milligrams a day. Testosterone replacement in men, if deficient. Low salt, less than two grams. Vitamin and nutrient supplements. I'd like to thank you for listening to this important presentation on nutrition, especially the nutritional assessment that's required in cirrhosis. Thank you very much.